be a tough job because uh, of the deficit you're going to face and the hard decisions you're going to make, and that's all left over because the Democrats and Republicans wouldn't accept my budget in 2002. They overruled me, as you remember, and no, they overruled my vetoes. Well, I'll go on the record with you and say this. Had they adopted my budget back then, your deficit would probably be half of what you're going to face now. When you look back at your time as governor and then the time that's elapsed since then, what do you think it's going to take for an independent, a third-party individual like you, hopefully like me, to bring the three sides together and find some mutual well, things I, to accomplish? Well, I don't think I don't think you really have to bring the three sides together. I think that if you run as an independent, you're a centrist, which means the middle where I was. The two parties have to go out to get their nomination. They have to go out to the fringe, the fringe right and the fringe left. The key is then if you occupy the center, which is who decides who wins or loses, because mm -hmm. there's more people there, uh, then you're in charge. And as long as you stick with centrist, common sense ideas, the two parties in which to compromise with each other will end up right at your position. Let's talk about some issues, because you and I share similar views. Uh, we're both largely outsiders. I'm much more than you because I don't have the name recognition. But I find because of that I'm not afraid to speak my mind, you know, what I what I feel. Well so, and also you're not a beholding the special interest money to where you can speak your mind without offending or getting some special interest donor angry at you. So I told a friend of mine the other day, like, how can you say that? I said the great thing is I don't have to worry. Yeah. I said people are either gonna agree with me or they're gonna disagree with me. Yeah. Um, and, and it's not, and you won't be based upon whether someone gave you a check. I know right. common sense, and there's no common sense in government. So therefore, I have a difficult time there, because everything I do is common sense. So that kind of begs the question, here I am, a small business owner, running for your former office. Do I have any common sense wanting that job? Sure. What That's about three tips on the can? If you're yeah. motivated to do it, but uh, it's going to be difficult for you, because you're taking on the Democrats and Republicans, and they not only get to play in the game, they get to be the referees. So what are your three tips, if I could ask you for three tips on the campaign trail? Stay true to your beliefs. Uh, get it, you must get in the debates. If you don't get in the debates, you're dead meat. And find, stay true to what you believe in, get in the debates, and uh, don't get bought by, by special interest uh, to sell yourself out in an attempt to win. Stand for what you believe in, and even if you lose, you can look in the mirror when you're done. Because remember, when all this is over with, ultimately you got to live with yourself in the end sure. anyway. And if you sell your soul to rock and roll, you'll be the one to deal with it later. 